ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಅಹಮದಿಯ ಜಮಾತ್ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರಾದಂತಹ ಮುಸದ್ದೀಕ್ ಸಾಹೇಬರು ನಮ್ಮ ಭಾಷಣವನ್ನು ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷೀಯ ಭಾಷಣವನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಇಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಚಾರ್ಮನ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಹಾಗೆಯೇ ಓಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಅವ್ರು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತೇಳಿ ವಿನಂತಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಇದಾದ ನಂತರ ಲಂಚನ ಏರ್ಪಾಡಿದೆ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಹಜೀವಿ ಬಂಧುಗಳು ಭೋಜನ ಮುಗಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ವಿನಂತಿಯೊಂದಿಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಒಂದೇ ಗುಣ ಅರ್ಪಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಜನ ಮುಸದಿಕ್ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ ಬರಬೇಕು ಅಷ್ಟು ಅಲ್ಲ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಲಿಜಿಯಸ್ ಲೀಡರ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಲವರ್ ಗೆಸ್ ಅಸ್ಸಲಾಮ್ ವಾಲೈಕುಂ ವರಹಮತುಲ್ಲಾಹಿ ವಬರಕಾತು ಮೇ ಪೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಲ್ಲಾ ಬಿ ಅಪಾನ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇನ್ ಡೀಟ್ ಪ್ರಿವಿಲೇಜ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಸೈಡ್ ಓವರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಸಿಂಪೋಸಿಯಂ ವೇ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ರಿಲಿಜಿಯಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಲೀಡರ್ಸ್ and honorable members of different walks of lives have assembled as mentioned by earlier speakers the purpose of organizing such a function is to clear the misunderstanding about the religion of islam and to create in the community peace and harmony which is so essential during this troubled period man is restless at present which is the dis- result of disregarding the religious teachings to which our religion he belongs communal disturbances flare up and the religious feelings of other communities are ignored and the religious leaders and holy scriptures are not respected <coughs> peace symposium slices help to create a better understanding among various religions Similar peace symposiums are held in different metropolitan cities within India and outside as directed by our supreme head supreme leader and head of worldwide Ahmadiyya community and is just one of our many efforts to try and fulfill our desire for peace to be established in the world Islam is the most misunderstood religion at present. It is unfortunately equated with terrorism and hatred not only by its opponents but also some misguided terrorists who call themselves Muslims. These terrorists are targeting public places for killing, killing innocent people for no fault of theirs in the name of Islam. This cruel act is totally unacce- unacceptable in Islam. Needless to say that Islam is a peaceful religion. Islam and terrorism therefore cannot stand together. They are poles apart. Being true Muslims, Ahmadiyya scrupulously follow the teachings of Holy Quran and strive hard to serve the cause of humanity. Although the Ahmadiyya Muslim community is a small community, it's a standard bearer and the representatives of the true teachings of Islam. Every Ahmadi who is, in, who is living in different parts of the world is extremely loyal citizen of that country. And this is because of the teachings of our Prophet wasallam, who instructed us that the love of one's country is an integral, integral part of his faith. we 
who are members of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community try our utmost to save the world from anarchy and destruction by following the teachings of Islam which preaches universal brotherhood. This is because in this era we have accepted the Imam of the age who was sent by Allah as the promised Messiah who came as an obedient servant of the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. The Supreme Head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat Hazrat, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad Ayyadahullah Ta'ala bin Asril Aziz our fifth Khalifa had laid great stress on educating the people of the world about the true nature of Islam. To this effect, our Jamaat is distributing millions of pamphlets and folders in different parts of the world, conveying our message of peace. Our spiritual leader himself is meeting the world leaders and heads of governments in different parts of the world. As mentioned by the earlier speaker, he had been invited to deliver lectures to the elected representatives in different countries like the British Parliament in UK, Capitol Hill in USA, in Germany, etc. His most important speeches delivered on these occasions, urging the world community towards peace and a series of letters that has been written to various world leaders has been compiled and published in a book form by name World Crisis and the Pathway to Peace which has been released today by Sri Ramakrishna Bhatiai, President of Bangalore Press Club. Ahmadiyya Jamaat is presenting the peaceful face of Islam. It has translated the Holy Quran into more than 70 different languages of the world. Its own advertisement-free television channel called MTA is spreading the message of peace in different languages to all nooks and corners of the world 24 hours a day. I don't want to take much of your time. It's also my privilege to propose a vote of thanks to all of you on this happy occasion. First and foremost, I thank the Almighty God for showering His mercy upon us to be able to conduct this peace symposium in a very good manner, Alhamdulillah. On behalf of Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat Bangalore, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to Mr. K.J. George, the Chief Guest and the Honorable Home Minister for being with us in spite of his busy schedules and for delivering a valuable speech. I also wish to express my gratitude to Sri Ramalingaradi, the Honorable Minister for Transport, for making it convenient to attend this function and address the audience. I am also very grateful to Sri P. Ramakrishna Upadhyay, President of Bangalore Press Club, who has kindly released the book World Crisis and the Pathway to Peace and spoke some kind words about our Jamaat. On behalf of Ahmadiyya Jamaat Bangalore, I also thank Father Roni Prabhu, Swami Ramatmananda and Jasbir Singh Dodi for gratefully accepting our invitation and delivering their valuable sermons on this happy occasion. Your August presence here has given a spiritual atmosphere to this function. Mm -hmm. Our sincere thanks are also due to Padma Bhushan, Dr. U. R. Ananda Murthy, the eminent writer and philosopher for his recorded message about our Jamaat, our Jamaat as he could not personally attend due to his ill health. Once again, I want to thank, I want to state that all of us are most grateful to all the speakers and the guests for having attended this symposium and supporting us. I will fail my duty if I do not thank Mr. Waliuddin, External Affairs Secretary of our community and all those who have put in their best efforts to make this event a grand success. We thank you all for being with us this, this afternoon. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you very much. Wa Alhamdulillah.